Ryan Gould for AM Best TV at the Insurance Market Briefing Europe in London. And I'm joined now by Stefan Holtzberger, Senior Managing Director and Chief Rating Officer AM Best. Welcome, Stefan. Thank you. So why has the outlook for the reinsurance sector changed from negative to stable? Sure. Well, we changed the outlook on the sector uh, from negative to stable in December of last year, and there are two main reasons for that. First of all, we saw a hardening market take place. Two very difficult years uh, from a catastrophe standpoint, 2017, 2018, uh, and because of that, we really saw uh, a strong likelihood that in 2019 we'd begin to see a general hardening in the pricing environment, particularly for loss-affected accounts. We saw a bit of a scale back in terms of the retro market, which was going to funnel down to the reinsurance sector as well as the primary sector. So a general hardening of the market in property, as well as in the casualty lines of business, where we saw uh, most major classes of casualty business running at over 100% combined ratio, and in the current low interest rate environment, that's just not sustainable. You can't produce the kind of margins necessary to make the investor base satisfied running at a break-even or worse combined ratio. So we really saw the potential for an improved rate environment. The other reason uh, for the reinsurance sector going stable is really this idea of third-party capital. Alternative capital had kind of evolved from a competitor in large part to more of a partner with the traditional reinsurance companies competing in the marketplace. I would say that competition is still there, but there's now what appears to be more of an alignment of interest. We're seeing very rational professional behavior in terms of alternative capacity, demanding the kind of margins that are commensurate with the risk, and that's kind of flowing into the traditional reinsurance sector, allowing them to charge the right price for the risk and manage their gross exposure, bring down the net PMLs to a manageable level by, by harnessing some of that alternative capacity, whether it's through ILS or more likely through uh, the retro market. Okay, but what do you think could see the market revert back to negative? Right, yeah. So there are always some uh, headwinds out in the market, right? Price competition uh, with the amount of excess capital and capacity that's out there from traditional players as well as alternative capacity trying to put that capital to work. There's always this fear and this possibility in the market that although we're seeing a hardening of the market, a real improvement in terms of rates across different uh, classes of business, that could be very short-lived. Right? It's going to be a question of how much discipline can these companies maintain under the uh, circumstances where they've got a lot more capital and capacity than they're able to put to work right now. There may be some benefits there in terms of new risks to insure, uh, whether it's cyber, private flood, or mortgage business. You know, those are opportunities for these companies to grow their business, but those are going to be, for the time being, relatively smaller uh, classes of business. Okay, and so looking ahead, what are your predictions for 2020? Right, so when we moved the uh, outlook for the reinsurance sector from negative to stable in December of 2018, we really saw for 2019 uh, a likelihood of a firming rate in environment. Returns were expected to be better. Now kind of fast forward to almost a year later, it's been a challenging 2019, severe catastrophes coming through again that are going to really depress the technical profitability. Uh, we have seen a bit of a rebound in the financial financial markets, so the unrealized capital gains could be a positive, but then couple that with the very low interest rate environment, returns are going to be muted for the time being. And although that's a challenge for the market, it's also an opportunity. So I think my that's kind of my way of saying we really do see the potential for a sustained favorable environment in terms of pricing. And we expect that to carry into 2020, again, across many or most classes of business. And that's exactly what the market needs. They need to kind of get to that technical profitability that's going to support uh, the business and the returns that the investors are expecting. Thank you, Stefan, and let's hope you're right. You. I'm Ant Gould for AM Best TV at the Insurance Market Briefing Europe in London.